best shipping software in 2022 ship station versus pirate ship versus is ship versus shippo so hi there you guys in this video we will be comparing those four platforms and decide which one is the best shipping software in 2022 so this is how each of them look like let's compare all their platforms one by one okay so i'll make it a point to compare the pricing for all of these platforms so that's going to be the main focus of this um video so this is ShipStation. it's obviously the same company who made shopify next is pirate ship uh pirate ship is kind of out of place right here but it's uh, also worth comparing it because of uh, you know the free features that you can access basically this works for you know usps and ups and for you to see the updated price list or shipping uh, fee for your for different states or for different locations you can download yep you can download a pdf file and check out the pricing just click this button right here rates and then you'll be able to see that let's uh, i'll show you later on next is easy ship so yes it has a free plan unlike ship station which doesn't have a free plan and of course we have shippo so go shippo.com they have a free plan as well now let's start with ship station so if you want to check out ship station just go to shipstation.com and then you'll land on this site right here so this is the pricing tab just click on pricing tab if you want to check out this yourself so they have how many plans that you can opt for they have one two three four five six plans that you can choose from and they are called starter nine dollars per month bronze 29 per month silver 49 per month gold 69 per month platinum they have 99 per month and of course they also have enterprise which is the most expensive one it's 159 per month so how do all of these plans differ from each other well of course main uh, difference is that the number of shipments that you can actually do each month so you can see here for starter you can do 50 shipments for bronze you can do 500 shipments for silver you can do 1500 shipments for gold you can do 300 shipments for platinum you can do 1600 shipments for enterprise you can do 10,000 shipments and they also differ when it comes to the users that are allowed to log in to the platform for starter you're only allowed one user for starter and that's for starter and bronze for silver and gold two for silver three for gold for platinum you get five users and for enterprise you get 10 users right here so now what are the things that you can actually uh, uh that, that, that you can get so what else branded branded both of this labels and packing slips you can get this for free uh, it's included in the plan you can customize um yeah uh for silver and up to enterprise uh you can customize the uh yeah you can customize labels and the packing slips as well and what else uh the support the support is also different when it comes to the plans for starter you, you only have email and community forum support that's it but for when you start paying uh yeah for starters you get that's that's the only thing you get email and community forum support but when you start to pay a uh, larger amount of course you get to have live chat and live chat is the most convenient customer support out there you know, if you ask me because come on who wants to like wait for email for days right so if you want to access like a live chat feature if it's really important for you to talk to a customer service right away then choose a bronze and yeah you'll get it next is pirate ship pirate ship is a different thing compared to all of these three right here because pirate ship it deals with usps and ups so actually you can create a free account and i'm not sure if they offer plans but um it basically works just like this you create your free account and you can buy and print usps and ups certificate shipping labels in simple steps whether you're shipping just one package or thousands so these are the things that you just need to do just measure uh just measure and weigh just buy shipping label and hand to usps or ups so basically this is 
it. All right. So now, what else do we got here on pirate ship? The rates right here. The rates actually will depend on how much USPS and UPS charges their customers. So yeah. If you want to check that out, just go to rates right here, the rates tab. And then after that, you can go ahead and see shipping rates right here. Or you can view or download the 2021 USPS shipping rates. Because the rates right here, it all depends on the rates on USPS. Now, you don't have to pay for the service itself. You don't have to pay for pirate ship. You just have to pay for the USPS. P S okay, and as it says here, USB uh, pirate ship offers the cheapest shipping rates available. All right, and by combining the shipping volume of the thousands of small businesses that use pirate ship, they are able to get best discounts from USPS as well. So you you get discounts from USPS because uh, pirate ship gets all of the orders and basically they're like shipping as one, and in that way um. Pirate Ship is a client of USPS. So when they ship in bulk, naturally they will get a discount. And that's how you get the cheapest rates available. But this is when you're shipping through USPS, UPS, you know, that's going to work. So, but if you're planning to ship uh, worldwide and if you want to um, make your shipping a lot more convenient and if you want to focus on the welfare or, or, or the convenient for the customer, then this one, it's cheap, but yeah, I don't think USPS really is, um, pro really provides a good service. So especially worldwide, yeah. So not really recommend this for when you want to cater to your worldwide customers. Next is of course we have Easy Ship. Let's compare their pricing. So now, now that we're done talking about this, uh, the pirate ship, I'll have to compare this three ship station. Um, easy ship and pricing. Oh, and and shippo. I'm sorry. Okay, so immediately I would give it to easy ship compared to ship station because ship station they just don't offer a free plan right here. So you can just try it and then after that, uh, go ahead and then pay for it after a certain amount of time. Unlike uh, for the easy ship right here, they have a free plan which costs zero dollars literally, and you can do a hundred shipments a month. Unlike for um, ShipStation, you pay $9 a month and you only get 50 shipments. Mm, I don't think so. And next is Shippo right here. So Shippo also has a free plan. And what do you get here? No monthly subscription fees, no per label fee with Shippo's default carriers, best USPS, UPS, and DHL Express discounts, email, and live chat support is also available. Now let's check if it has an email and live chat support here on free. Nope, it doesn't have. But on Shippo, it does have an email and live chat support. Unlike for ShipStation, eh, you'll have to pay for it. And the yep. and professional plan, $10 a month. Premier plan, you'll have to contact them. Okay, so which one of these four is the best? I think let's remove pirate ship from the uh, from the picture right here because pirate ship is a whole different thing. So pirate ship is best in its own field. And it's really unfair to compare them to these three platforms right here. But comparing ship station, easy ship, and shippo, I'd go for shippo because you guys when you subscribe to their free plan, you get an email and live chat support so you can track your shipments right away. You can talk to a live agent right away. Unlike for when you are going to use ShipStation, it's really expensive. But uh, when you have money to spare, ShipStation services is really on a high standard compared to this uh, two right here. But yeah, if you, that's if, when you have a money to spare. But if you don't have... Maybe go for Shippo. I think Shippo will do good. And for Easy Ship, there's nothing you can do really for, you know, under free plan. But uh, the shipments, the number of shipments that you can do is fairly good compared to Ship Station. So I'd rank Shippo number one just because you can access a um, live chat support under free plan. Because uh, for shipping uh, platforms, it's really important for you to talk to someone else right away, right? when problems arises. So I give it to Shippo number one, number two would be U Pirate Ship, number three would be Easy Ship, and last goes to ShipStation just because it's expensive and 
I hate expensive stuff, especially when it comes, especially when it comes to you know platforms like this. So what do you think, you guys? Let me know down in the comments below. And that's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.